guys, my name is Courtney Budson. If you are new here, and this is What's For Din. All right, I got a serious question to ask you. What is better than ice cream or cake? Uh-huh, you guessed it, ice cream cake. <laughs> Today I am super excited to say that I am partnering up with I Love Ice Cream Cakes that are available at your local grocery store to bring you three different dessert toppings. A delicious milk chocolate drizzle, a white chocolate drizzle, and a super bright and refreshing strawberry drizzle that goes perfect with any type of dessert you want. Now let's be honest, we all know how busy life is. Sometimes things come up and you don't have time to make a dessert or just plain and simple, you're too tired and you don't wanna mess with it. <laughs> so if that's the case, it's as easy as walking in your local grocery store and grabbing one of these beautiful ice cream cakes that are ready to go, ready to chow down right out of the freezer. And these dessert toppings that I'm about to show you how to make complement these beautifully. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna work on is our strawberry sauce. So in my pan, I am adding my freshly cut up strawberries along with some granulated sugar, a pinch of lemon juice, and a little bit of water to help it move along. Give that a good stir bring it up to a simmer and pop a lid on it and let it cook for about 15 minutes. As it cooks, it's going to break down and those strawberries are gonna release so much juice. It's just, I mean, it already looks amazing to me. <laughs> now while that's happening, we are going to make the slurry that's going to thicken this up. So in a separate dish, I am mixing just a little bit of cornstarch with some really cold water. Give it a really good mix to make sure there's no lumps and now your slurry is ready to go. So once your strawberries look something like this, where they're all really nice and broken down, now it's time to add the cornstarch slurry. So add that in, give it a really good stir, and it will thicken almost immediately. So once you get to that step, you don't have to worry about cooking it. Cornstarch doesn't have to cook. You can transfer it to a bowl or a blender and blend it up so it's nice and smooth. Now I love to use this as a topper for this Oreo ice cream cake that is so stinking good. If you like Oreos, this is your best bet. And the strawberry sauce adds such an amazing vibrant pop, not only of color, but of flavor. It is so stinking good, you're gonna love it. Up next is the chocolate fudge sauce. If that doesn't have you drooling just saying those words, I don't know what will. So in a large bowl, I'm combining some granulated sugar, some cocoa powder, all-purpose flour, and whisk that all together to make sure there's absolutely no clumps. Then go ahead and set that aside. So back to the stove in my pan, I'm going to add a knob of butter and some milk. So melt that butter down over a medium high heat, add some vanilla extract, and give it a good stir and really make sure that butter is completely melted down. And once that happens, you can go ahead and add your dry ingredients. So just add a little bit at a time. I like to do it in three parts. And after each addition, make sure you whisk it very well. You don't want any clumps in this. You don't want clumpy fudge sauce. Now once you have all your dry ingredients in, you wanna to continue to whisk over medium high heat for about five to seven minutes or until this thickens up very nicely. Now you don't wanna boil this, so if it starts to boil, you wanna turn the temperature down. You just want a very slight little bubble and you'll see that it gradually starts to thicken up and become this glorious, delicious looking fudge sauce. Up next, we are going to make a very, very simple white chocolate sauce. So what I'm doing is heating up some heavy cream to a slight boil and then I'm gonna pour that over some white chocolate chips and allow that to sit with a lid on for about two to three minutes or until all the chocolate chips are nice and melted. Give it a good whisk. It's gonna start off looking real sketchy, like you added too much liquid, but just trust me, you didn't. And eventually it's going to look something like this. Ugh, like don't you just wanna dip your finger in there or you just cup your hand and just start drinking it? <laughs> now I like to combine the milk chocolate drizzle and the white chocolate drizzle on top of this Carvel cake that has chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and like this crunchy cake stuff in the center. It is so stinking good. And it's kind of nostalgic because it kind of reminds me of a Sunday when I was a little kid and I had the chocolate sauce and the cookie crunchies and oh, it's just so delicious. Now I'm not gonna lie, the cake is melting. I gotta make this quick. I literally put all three toppings on because I'm a pig and I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> Explosion in my mouth. So good. And the toppings go absolutely perfect with this. The strawberry is my absolute fave because it really brings some bright freshness to the cake. It is so good. So if you guys are interested in finding a cake of your own, all you have to do is go on their website. They have a product locator. Enter in the information for where your location is and you can find the closest store near to you. Most likely it's gonna be your local Meijer or Walmart or Kroger. 
whatever stores that you have in your area, you're gonna find it there. They have so many different options you can choose from, whether it's an anniversary, a holiday, last minute celebration that you had no idea was gonna happen and you just needed to pick up something really quick. These are absolutely perfect. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you do wanna make these dessert toppings, just look below in the description box. I'll leave all the measurements as well as written instructions. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, that way you get notified every single time I upload a video. So as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Peace. And they had me at crunchies, okay? Whatever these chocolate crunchies are, they're delicious. Also, I'm, e I'm eating ice cream with a fork. Cause it's an ice cream cake. <laughs>